welcome back everyone to my let's play of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening in Oakley in our last episode. Just uh, cleared out the bottle grotto, got the conch horn, and uh, returned uh, Bow Wow to Madame Meow Meow. Let's uh, see if Olara has a new hint for us. Hi, it's Olara. Have you met everyone on the island? There's a man named Richard who lives in Pothole Field, southeast of the village. Why not pay him a visit? That's all I can tell you for now. Bye. Click. Well, we're gonna go uh, visit Richard. Richard is actually another uh, cameo from a Nintendo character. Uh, an obscure game for the frog the bell tolls. Um, I think it was only released in Japan from what I've read. Uh, but we'll see uh, Richard is surrounded by a bunch of frogs when we get to his villa. So, Right there is our first little warp point. Uh, there were four of them and the throughout the island, they warp us around. So let's, let's throw back to the first Legend of Zelda where there was four little uh, walk uh, passages that you use with the power bracelet. So here we're in like the wasteland and then we have the cemetery. What do we got here? Crazy Tracy's and Manbo's Pond. Let's talk with Crazy Tracy and she has rats too, hey! Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. How about it? 42 rupees for my little secret. Sure. All right, come here and I'll rub it on you. There. I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all hearts. Drop by again. So yeah, uh, now if Oakley loses all her hearts, she'll be full, refilled back to full uh, health thanks to that potion. So it's kind of like a... A fairy in the bottle, uh, in a link in a, a link to the past. So here in the wasteland, and here we're back where the moblins were. Tall, tall heights to the left is where the moblin cave was, where we rescued Bow Wow. We got some more moblins around here. Those bushes look suspicious, but they're not really. There's nothing underneath them. What do we got here? Tamarach and the swamp. The swamp over to is the screen over to the left is where the uh, dungeon two is. Up there is where the windfish's egg is, but we're not going to visit there yet. There's no reason to go there for a while. But the main reason we're heading over this way is we want to uh, get our second warp point. So, because near the second warp point is the entrance to dungeon number four, and so it'll be really good to have that warp point available. Uh, to be able to warp right to dungeon 4 later on. Do a little bit of exploring. This screen is going to be familiar later. To the south is a castle that we're going to have to go to to do a little mini quest. The mini quest between uh, dungeon 2 and dungeon 3. We have a little uh, thing there. That just takes us uh, to a place we can't really do anything because there's a block, block blocking our way. So like likes take them out and here's our second warp point and let's warp back it'll take us back to the prairie so here we are back in the prairie so a few more things we can do around here while we're in the area so whoop, we've got these uh, infinitely spawning zombies so no wait I guess get rubies if you really want but earlier we saw this rock, that gravestone over there, that single gravestone, that's going to be important later, so. But that bush looks suspicious. Yeah, if we uh, remove the bush and then uh, dig there, we get another secret seashell. That should be secret seashell number five. And we don't want to pick up any more for now because uh, in the, uh, there's a, uh, uh, manner where you turn in your secrecy cells and you get a special prize at 5 and 10 but only if you have 5 and 10 exactly so this rock has many cracks there must be some way to shatter it yep with bombs you gotta watch out we can jump around here push that block and we can get our fifth piece of heart three more to go and we end up in the graveyard now in the remake of this game uh, the uh, Link's Awakening DX, not the newest version that they remade for the Switch. There's actually a color dungeon there, and there you can get either the red or the blue tunic. Red doubles your offense, blue doubles your defense. So, and that stacks with the uh, piece of power and the guardian acorn. So, you can get really powerful in those that game. 
Gotta watch out here, watch for the slimes. Remember, watch, don't wanna stand on those uh, cracked floors too long or else you'll fall down. Hold on. We wanna push these uh, blocks around, get access to the treasure chest, and we get some more rupees. 50, very nice. Pick up another rupee there. So if we don't have our shovel, now would be a time to pick it up because you got 200 rupees. We need a shovel for this mini quest that we're gonna be going on to. Uh, back in Richard's Villa. So let's head toward Richard's Villa. It's to the southeast of the uh, village. So that is dungeon number three. But as you can see, we need a key to get into it. So, spoiler, Mr. Richard will provide us with that key. But here's his little villa. Let's head in. Like I said, he's from that game for the frog, the bell tolled. And you wouldn't know look at, but by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee to my villa. So, you want the key to Yukuka Prairie, do you? I might be able to help you. Let's make a deal, shall we? I want you to retrieve the golden leaf I left behind in the castle when I fled. Okay. Smashing. To tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Oh, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck! Yes, he has all those frogs surrounding him, so... Alright. What's this? Richard's Villa. So... We take to the right there, we'll eventually get to the castle, but there's another way to get to the castle, and that's the way we're gonna go, so we're gonna do a little bit of backtracking here. Hmm, a keyhole, it says slime keyhole. Well, we're gonna have to get the slime keyhole later. Well, let's head up this way. That looks suspicious there, that little spot there. But, get this way, there's another crack here. Uh, we can't do anything in that cave yet. We're gonna need the item from the third dungeon to... We have another cave here. That's gonna be a fairy cave. So let's head on in. Heal ourselves up. You might have noticed that bombs, when they're about to explode, you can pick the bomb back up and it'll uh, reset its timer. So... Bloop. Hmm, that's... Honeycomb looks suspicious. And unlike um, a link to the past, you can actually stand in your uh, in the bomb blast radius and not get hurt. So we have these annoying Octoroks with wings. Cadillac Castle, five minutes. Let's head up this way. Let's see if Old Lava has another hint for us. Old Man Old Lava here. Do you like bananas? Try talking to people in the village again. Bye. Well. That's your clue that you need to uh, start that trading quest. But we already got the bananas. We're gonna need the bananas because to get into the castle, uh, we're gonna need the help of some monkeys. So, 50 paces up north is the castle. But before we head to the castle, we wanna head to another structure. Over here, the Seashell Manor. So uh, if we follow this path to the north, we'll uh, get there. Let's take out these moblins first. Take out these ones. Seashell Mansion. Let's head on in. And if you come back here with 5 and 10 seashells, you'll get a, a special prize. But only with 5 and 10 exactly. So, we get a prize. And what do we get? We get another secret seashell. So, now we're up to 6. And soon we'll be up to 7. Because uh, immediately to the screen to the right, there'll be another secret seashell that we can pick up. Kind of a waste to get that power, not gonna be out too, too long. I think there's another secret seashell underneath all those bushes. Collect a bunch, something good will bound to happen. In order to get that something good, we need 20 exactly, but there's 26 total. We'll be getting all of them, so. This guy, he, uh, the monkey Kiki, he wants some bananas. So let's give him those bananas that we got. And now they're gonna repay us by building a bridge here that allow us to get into the castle. We gotta take the back way to the castle, because over to the left, if we went the straight way to the castle, we would have ended up with, uh, you would have saw the gate there, and the gate uh, is locked, so. Mr. Olavo, does he have another new hint for us? Yeah, it's me, Olavo, hmm. You can't find all the leaves, you say? That's a stumper, ah. Check out the raven by the castle. In any case, try many things. And we're gonna have to try a lot of things in the castle. Including a way to, a secret way to get into the castle. Smash, uh, cut down that bush. And 
we get a secret passage into the castle. We have these night enemies in the castle. Take out this guy. And we're going to have to take out this guy because this guy is going to drop our, our first leaf. He uh, basically jumps around and he uh, pops in and out of one of these holes and he'll throw bombs at you. So, But he's not too hard. Two uh, charged up sword swings take him out. It's weird, these guys block your attacks with their sword, not with their shield. So, hmm. To the south is the castle gate, but it's locked. And to the north here, coming up, we're gonna see, see that raven that uh, Olava told us about. Now the raven, most ravens are uh, attacking when you get close, but this one's different. This one you have to throw a rock at him to get him off the tree. Then you have to quickly defeat him before he flies off the screen. And that gets us golden leaf number two. 40% down, just got another knight here. To the right is the passage where we came in. And the remaining gold leaves we're gonna find actually inside the castle. So let's head on into the castle. We'll also be able to lower the jaw bridge from inside here. So Olava told us to try many things. And uh, those many things include defeating all the enemies in this room. And that'll get us gold leaf number three. We can throw a powder on that fairy, that anti-fairy, but he doesn't turn into a fairy in this game, unlike uh, A Link to the Past, so no free refills. And sadly, no golden heart, uh, golden leaf for defeating those guys, but we did get a heart, so back to full life. Step on this button, we hear something cracking in the distance, and the gate open. Now we can easily leave the castle. And let's head up onto the second floor. We have to uh, equip our bombs here. We want to bomb the statue on the left. Bombing either of the statues will cause a knight to appear, but it's only the statue on the left that we're really worried about. Defeating it will uh, get us the fourth golden leaf. So, mm hmm. And we're going to be leaving shortly. And there's our last little mini boss that we got to defeat, and he's going to hold uh, the fifth leaf. So we're going to have to exit the castle quickly. That's why I didn't pick up the acorn, because we just lose its uh, potency here. And we're going to have to throw a pot at the door. So try many things. Best way to take this guy out is hit him with your sword, then pick up a bomb and throw it at him. As he swings his mace, uh, he'll stand still and the bomb will take him out. And two patterns of that, and we get our fifth golden leaf. Now we can take it back to Richard and get our reward. So, we're able to take a shortcut out of here because remember the castle gate now is uh, down. So, we'll be able to, the castle gate is open and the jaw bridge down, so we don't have to go back through that uh, hidden passageway under the bush. So, let's just head out this way, avoid the enemies when we can. And head on out. Yep, now the gate is uh, is open. We can head on down. So before we head back to Richard, there's a few other little things we can uh, do. These rock docks are annoying because they are... Uh... Animal Village and Martha's Bay. We'll be going to both of them later on. Martha's Bay is where Dungeon 5 is. But, so we've seen where Dungeon 4 is, we now know where Dungeon 5 is. Let's get our power bracelet and pick up this suspicious looking rock. And we get secret seashell number 8. I'm going to head through this cave because we want to get some more secret seashells. We want to get uh, 9 and uh, 10 so we can head back to that seashell mansion and uh, get our another reward. Which happens to be secret seashell number 11. So we bomb that little wall here, and we head up to another section of the cave. The only block we can push is this one here. We push it into the hole. Look out below! And then from here we can push these blocks around, and we can get onto the top of this, uh, I guess, uh, mesa, where uh, we'll be able to find another secret seashell. So these Octorox that can jump, well, usually the best way to do it is just uh, keep swinging your sword around. Or jump at them. Around here, secrets are plentiful. And we dig around and we get another secret seashell. So that is number nine. One more to go and uh, we'll have uh, our ten. 
So, you now we'll head back to the mansion. And luckily, there is a uh, another secret seashell very close here. So, let's go grab that one. Let's get out of this cave. Yeah, nothing down to the south there. It's just a dead end. So, can't push any of those blocks there. So, we're just going to have to take a roundabout way here. Jump down. And now we're going to head out of the cave. There's no way to beat those uh, skeletons that come to life there. Just head down this way. We got another phone booth. Talk with Olvira, see if he has anything to say. Olvira here. Shovel. Did you purchase a shovel? You may find something if you dig here and there. Bye! Well, we did get our shovel. Because we already got some secret seashells with the shovel, and uh, he got the one in uh, Bow Wow's uh, sister's place. And then we get secret seashell number 10 under this bush right here. So let's head back to the uh, seashell mansion. And we can get secret seashell number 11 for free. So you only get them, like I said, with 5 and 10. So, And there is no prize for 15. So the next time you'll get a prize is when you hit 20, uh, which is the, the main prize. After that, uh, the, the remaining secret seashells that you didn't pick up will disappear. And uh, if they're in a chest, they'll just be replaced by rupees. So, but we are, we will not, uh, we'll be getting all the secret seashells, so we'll forego our reward, so. Well, I might as well spoil it. The reward is uh, eventually we get the level two sword. Uh, right now you see that sword has a L-1 by it. It's the level one sword, so we'll get a stronger sword. Uh, and it's kind of like a throwback to, I guess, the original Zelda, where you can get the Master Sword, the best sword in the game, right before level 5. If you get all the seashells that, as you come around them, you'll be able to get your uh, level 2 sword, the best sword in the game, by level 5. So, yeah, another bunch of kind of throwbacks to the original Legend of Zelda. So, well, let's head over to, uh, we've done basically all we can do right now, so let's uh, grab this uh, Guardian Acorn here and... Because we have a little bit of a trek to go before we uh, hit Richards. So anytime we can uh, raise our defense. Because there's, no, uh, there's no mail in this game. Like I said, there's mail in the, uh, uh, in the DX version, uh, which adds color uh, to the game. But in the original version that I have here, yep, there is none, so... The only way to increase your defense is to get those guardian acorns. So now we're heading the back way to uh, Richard's Villa. And we're going to return to him the five golden leaves that he asks. Ah, Tresbien, I see you have recovered all the leaves. Now move this box and you will find your reward. A staircase. That's our reward? No, our, st our reward is beyond the staircase. And no, it's not what's in this treasure chest. But what is in this treasure chest is our 12th secret seashell. So, bloop, take out that little blob, jump over here. And that other staircase here is going to get us access to the pothole maze. And in the pothole maze, it's just a bunch of shrubbery, but underneath the shrubs, there's a bunch of potholes. So you kinda gotta navigate your way around here. We're gonna take a shortcut. Uh, if we charge our sword up, see, we can take a little shortcut there. We can jump over to the upper uh, left, and we can just avoid some uh, going down to the uh, screen below. So, and when we get to this screen, this owl and soil sleeps secrets beneath your souls. And that means, once again, we have to dig, and we get the slime key. Over to the left there, remember, is uh, that entrance to the slime dungeon. So we're going to have to backtrack a little bit through this pothole maze. And use our rock feather. To, otherwise, we'd have to go down the screen and traverse a little bit of a maze there. Ooh, we fell down a hole, but that's okay. We'll be able to skip it back. There we go. Just be careful going back to the cave. And now we're going to head back to Richard's Villa. And I read that if you stay in the uh, Richard's Villa long enough, a, so a different song will play in the background. So, I am forever in your debt for getting my leaves back. Alright, well, 
That's what we'll pick up in our next episode, opening the slime cave. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.